Hey everybody, Eagle Run 2-3 here. We are going to sharpen a pair of scissors today. And I know there's a lot of mystery with sharpening scissors. Forget about all that. If you punched in to YouTube, how to sharpen scissors, then you are already qualified. Just knowing that these can be sharpened and likely you think you have a couple tools to do it, um, you're gonna be good to go. So let's briefly talk about what we're trying to do here. Uh, just treat these as two separate blades. So that's the best thing to do is to take them apart. Hopefully you've got a quality scissor that actually comes apart. If it doesn't come apart, um, maybe don't sharpen it, just get rid of it. Okay, so these are some pretty high end, um, let me show you the brand name here. I almost lost my washer. These are Mundial. M-U-N-D-I-A-L. And we're gonna treat these just like two separate blades. So likely you've got, you know, an Arkansas stone, uh, something like that. Maybe you've got a uh, two-sided, uh, any of those will work. I'm going to use the um, Arkansas hard right here because this is my flattest stone that I have. So I'm gonna use one of these with a little bit of oil. So I'm gonna get these um, cleaned up first of all. These are some fabric cutting scissors, and it looks like they are very linty in here. And so we're gonna make sure we take care of that. These are basically a chisel grind. Uh, normally on a knife, you've got a bevel on each side, and the scissors are different than that. And you wanna make sure you pay attention. This back side here needs to remain flat. And if you can see right there, those little shiny spots, that is damage in the blade. Those little shiny edges, those are damaged. So this needs to remain flat. I don't know that I'm going to do this, but you could um, place this on here and, and flatten the back of that. I'm probably not going to do that. We're gonna see how far we can go with that damage right there. And then this is the side that has the bevel. It doesn't matter what the degree is because you're just going to follow that bevel. You're gonna set it. Uh, on your stone and you'll be able to rest it right there and you'll be able to feel that flat as it hits on the angle. Piece of cake. Same side on, same on the other side. Uh, this is gonna remain flat and we've got our bevel right there that will set here on our stone and we will be able to sharpen. All right, let's get set up here and sharpen these. Okay, I've got mine just sitting here on a board so that uh, there's plenty of room for the handle to clear. And I just got it sitting on a board, it's clamped down. Nothing much here to the setup. We're gonna place some of our honing oil here on the stone. So we've got a nice bevel there to follow. We're gonna place that here on the stone. And we're just gonna draw this down, keeping that angle all the way across. Make sure you're there. Go, go nice and slow. Don't worry about going too fast. Draw that straight across. So eventually we'll be able to remove all of our damaged areas and we'll have a nice smooth cutting surface. So I'm gonna stay working on here and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. All right, I had to spend a fair amount of time on that damage. So let's see how we're, oh. Okay, so I need to go back and continue to work on that because it is just See how it just pulls it. Yeah. All right, so we need to go back to the stones there. All right. All right, so we spent a fair amount of time on this main bevel. And you can see I've got it polished up really nice. There's just quite a bit of damage in there. 
And it was just from the blades getting nicked on something. It's no big deal. You just kind of got to be patient. Now, this other one here is basically flat. Um, it's the flat surface that this one cuts against. So I did run a stone over it just to make sure it didn't, that we had a nice 90 degree angle right here, but didn't have to do too much to that one. Most of the work was on that big bevel that you see. I've already tested this here, but let me show you on camera. Nice, crisp that spot right in through there that was giving us trouble. Not a problem anymore. These are in great shape. Even that little spot, I'll go real slow. Yep, beautiful. Don't be intimidated by scissors, uh, especially if they're a quality pair that comes apart. Just treat it like two blades, run them over the stones, do all the things that you would do to a knife or a blade, uh, just this backside here, I would just leave it alone. Don't even worry about it. As long as it's nice and flat, you'll be fine. Um, mine was was fine. I, I just made sure that my bevel was good there. And it's it's sharp enough that I, was, uh, I could cut arm hair with, it's shave sharp right there. So I'll go ahead and get the nut back on here and get these lubed up, but I wanted to keep this video nice and short for you. Uh, sharpen some scissors. Kind of fun, and uh, you'll learn something. All right, Eagle Run 2-3, thanks for watching.